So with our kids, we have been studying the fruit of the Spirit, and we just wrapped up a study of kindness and how kindness is something we should really strive to show towards everyone, no matter if it's really easy or it's really difficult, or even if they're kind to us first or in return. But we're going to continue on and go a little bit deeper to, rather than just our actions of kindness, we're going to talk about the concept of goodness and where goodness comes from and what that leads us to. So I'm going to pause here for just a moment and let you join with the memory verse and you're going to repeat it along with me, say it out loud. That way we can get some practice learning this memory verse together. And then we'll be right back to our studies. It comes from Matthew chapter 12, verse 35. It says, The good man brings good things out of the good stored up in him. And the evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in him. So repeat after me. The good man brings good things out of the good stored up in him. The evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in him. Matthew 12, verse 35. Let's say it all together one more time. The good man brings good things out of the good stored up in him. The evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in him. Matthew 12, verse 35. Okay, so like I say, we're going to talk about goodness. So here's the question to get you started. If I said, man, that was a good... How are you going to fill in that blank? Hmm? Is it going to be food? Man, that was a good pizza. Man, that was a good piece of pie. I don't know. You could fill in a lot of different good things there. Uh, man, that was a good movie or a good game. We think about goodness in a lot of different ways. We use that word in a lot of different ways. For example, all of those things we talked about were just things that we like. Man, that was a good whatever. But what about, have you ever said you wanted to be good at something? Okay, I want to be a good baseball player. I want to be a good piano player. I want to be a good speaker. I want to be a good friend. We use that way. So good things we like things we want to be good at. But then here's the one that I think most of you think about and one that our memory verse is kind of aiming at, about good and bad. That person is good. That thing is good. And we're establishing whether it's a right or a wrong, a, a plus or a minus, all these different things that we would kind of weigh out whether it's worth it or not. Even the choices we make, we say that was a good choice or that was a bad choice. So goodness can be a very confusing word. And that's why it's important to understand what does it mean in the context of God and Jesus and God's word for us? Like in that memory verse, and we'll talk more about kind of what's going on when Jesus makes this statement over the next couple of weeks. But when Jesus says these words, and he says, the good man brings good things out of the good stored within him, it sounds really simple, doesn't it? It sounds like there's this giant treasure chest inside of us, and all the things that we do, if we're a good person, we're going to pull that out, and it's going to be a good thing, no matter what, because we're just filled up with goodness. And then the evil person on the opposite side is just their treasure chest is filled with all this evil and this yucky stuff and everything they pull out is going to be a bad choice. But I bet you're already thinking, but it's not that easy. It's not that simple. I know really good people who have made bad choices and I know some bad people who have surprised me with good choices from time to time. No one is full of one or the other. It almost seems like you have a mixture of all of it. So what is Jesus saying 
when he says that you're filled with this or out of the treasures of what's inside of you, what's stored inside of you is going to come out and it be good or evil depending on whatever was stored up inside of you. What did he mean by that? Well, that's what we're going to talk about over the next couple of weeks. What does it mean to have things stored inside of you? How do we access those good things? What are those good things? And how maybe can we make sure there's more of those good things than the bad things so that we can show goodness in our life? We'll think about that some more over the next while. So I'm going to leave you with this. If you were in Wednesday class before all of this started and we had to be at home watching, you've seen me use this game as an example before. But I still like playing Mario Kart from time to time. And in Mario Kart, there's these good things that you can pick up. And then there's some bad things that can happen to you as well. And often, they're all the same thing. It just depends on whether you're getting to use it or the other person is, as far as the game goes. And then sometimes, if my kids are watching me play, they'll be like, Oh, good, Dad, you're in first place. And I'll be like, Yes, I am in first place. And I get excited because it seems to be a good place to be. Only right then, as you're about to pass the finish line, boom, you get hit with a green turtle shell and someone else whizzes past you. So in that sense, the front in first place wasn't a good place to be because it put me at risk for all of this other bad stuff that could happen. Figuring out good isn't as easy as it sounds. As far as, and here's what we're going to talk about, here's the trick, as far as when we think about the world, if we keep our focus on Jesus, that decision and that understanding about what good is will become a lot clearer. So just like the words came from Jesus' mouth in our memory verse, we're going to try to keep our focus on Jesus more than the finish line in Mario Kart for figuring out what goodness really is.